And follow me, I have Samsung Galaxy M20 and I'll show you how to uh, do a bypass of Google verification. So we will need a couple things. Um, on the website, you can find uh, the link. Um, you will see all the links to the softwares and files that we need right here. And uh, I already have downloaded all of them. So they're basically here. And what you want to do, probably like right at the start is uh, the number three. Okay, once you download it, go in there and uh, start downloading it right away because it will take quite a while. It's probably gonna be the one that takes the longest time to actually download. As you can see, it will load the file and you should see a button to download soon. And uh, from there, once it's downloaded, like it is for me right here, uh, we can proceed then. Uh, oh, and actually before, make sure you install this or otherwise uh, FRP unlock won't see the phone uh, at the moment, like when we will need to use it. So just once you download it, just double tap on it and install. And you will also after install need to reset the computer. So do that. So once that's all ready, uh, we're going to begin by opening up Odin, which has... Oops, not... Um, so... Have it right here, and I'm going to run it. And once you have opened it, take the phone, and uh, it needs to be shut off, like it is for me right now. And once it's off, we will hold volume up and volume down together the same time and plug it into the computer using the cable provided so it's plugged into the computer now i'm plugging it into the phone as well give it a moment and it should should see this message which is a warning um and uh basically need to confirm it by uh, tapping the volume up button or you have also cancel volume down but we need to confirm to proceed so volume up and as you can see now we're in download <coughs> downloading mode so just place the phone right here and going back to the computer um, as you can see now Odin sees the uh, the device so we're gonna add AP file which is right here the second one the combination and uh, I'm already in the folder so tap on it and it will start scanning the file and uh, give it a moment it will take a little bit and once that uh, once it's like confirmed you can tap on start and it will begin installing it and that's what we need so give it a couple minutes okay now we can tap on start and the process will begin and as you can see in a second right now there's a progress bar on the phone as well So now it's installing the combination tool. Okay, and as you can see now it's done and uh, the device is restarting, you can unplug it. Like so, wait for the device to restart. Now we can close Odin uh, or minimize it. I'm just gonna close it. Um, and we're gonna open the FRP unlocker. So double tap it and as you can see now it's open. Now wait for the device to turn on. Okay. And now we're gonna actually plug in the phone back again. and should appear here in a second, as you can see now. Now, if it doesn't detect it, um, try to install this. And that is in, in the file there, uh, provided number six. Um, and restart the computer and it should work. Uh, so once you see this, just tap on unlock.
yeah, uh, now that it's a success, you can close it, um, turn off the device, you can actually start by unplugging it actually, and turn it off. Okay. And now we're gonna go back into Odin. And uh, the file that I was saying that is gonna take the longest uh, to download, we will actually need it now. So we have downloaded it like I do right here. We're gonna put it all in here. So let's minimize this and uh, actually go back into download mode. So volume up and volume down. And while you're holding it, plug in the phone. Okay, volume up once, place it. And now you can see it's recognized and we're gonna start adding the files. So it's going to be Now this file, again, will take a little bit longer to add because it's one of the bigger files and it's scanning it, so be patient. Okay, and now the last one. Okay, and uh, can also check it with the the guide here if it's everything we need. So we added this one, this one, and uh, oh, we also need to add the SCS. So. And once you have added all of them, we're gonna start. So start and uh, you can see again, the progress bar appears and everything's being installed on the device. So once more, we're gonna need to wait a couple of minutes. See, it has been installed, and uh, now we're gonna wait for the phone to turn on. So we can actually unplug it now. Okay, from here go through the setup. Um, doesn't matter how you do it, just to get through it quickly. We're gonna, we're gonna, whoa, quit. Uh, we're gonna reset it after on the main screen anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, um, Okay, and now 
once it's finished setting up, we're gonna go into settings. So, there are the settings. From here, go into about phone and uh, see. Is it this? Um, we're looking for build number. Oh, there it is, right here under my finger. So tap on that seven times till you get the developer mode. Now go back. And uh, we have the developer options now. So go here. And as you can see, OEM unlock. You need to say like, Check that on and tap on enable. And now tap on delete all. And we get to wait some more, but this is the last time. <clears throat> Basically once, it's, once this is finished, we're back in normal, fully unlocked Android. So I should mention while this is doing, um, when you're downloading the software, it will be your phone specific in a way. Um, basically, I'm gonna turn around the phone. You can see there is a, a model number, the SMM205F. So if you can see that clearly, you know. So when you're downloading the, the tool for it on here, I think it was this one. You will basically select the the one that is uh, corresponding to your device. There's two for uh, for this specific one. So you have the, the G version and the F. I had the F, so that's the one that I downloaded. As you can see, you have both links here. So you need to download the the one that is based on your your phone. So this won't be needed. And as you can see, now we're fully done and uh, you can set up your device now fully by going to the process and uh, and the device will be fully unlocked. So You can skip this, and but you don't need to log in actually. Next. Oh, thank you, skip, skip anyway. can select it or unselect it, it just depends on the preference. So tap on next and uh, I don't want to sign in, skip and finish. And as you can see, all done and there's the device fully functional now. Just downloading the apps that they were selected and yeah, fully unlocked. So. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.